Welcome to Sculpture Studios. We're going to be slowing things down a little here with this project today, some artistic sculptural furniture. We've been contacted by our client David from the Decorus Furniture Group and we've been commissioned to produce a master pattern, production mould and multiple casts of a stylized table. Now this isn't going to be your average everyday run of the mill table, oh no. This is going to be some hand carved goodness. Sure, a machine could cut this out but we're talking art here people, come on, get with the program, you know how this works by now. The design is an oval shape from plan view with scalloped, scooped out sections all the way around. Though we are carving this by hand, we need to ensure that this has a perfectly flat, smooth top, so we're using MDF to begin the sculpture. This MDF top also doubles up as a template to show where the scooped out sections are going to be. Now anyone that knows the crew and knows the workshop can probably tell that these clips are being dug up from a few years ago. Russell here is doing some nice neat work for us, as well as the fact the studio is nice and tidy. Russell's using MDF boards to create the templates, as this is easy to work with, a cost-effective material, and bearing in mind that this isn't actually going to be part of the finished unit. This is just the master pattern in order to create the production mould. The top of the table is going to have a dropped surface in the centre. Now this could simply be part of the finished look, or it could be so the client can add an insert of a stone or veneer of some kind for a different desired finish, depending on who's placing an order. Identical peripherals need to be created for the top and the bottom, and then it's time to start blocking out in between with polystyrene. While Aidan's cracking on with the wire brush, I'm going to take this opportunity to thank the client for approaching us with this project. This is the first time that we've worked with Decorus, by which it's always a new experience for both ourselves as well as the client for entrusting us with a first project. We don't tend to use the word gamble, as we know ourselves what we're capable of, and from any new client's point of view, they can simply see the sheer scale and diversity of our projects and client base from either our YouTube channel or our website. And to be honest, that's where all of these online project videos really come in handy. They can see the size of our company, the fact we're a family-run business and the way we work, as well as our personality, and we're packed full of that. Having visited the Decorus website, we can see just how stylized their pieces are, so it's great to be able to create something for a website that has a lot of pieces that blur the lines between furniture and art, and quite frankly, you really won't find anywhere else. If every project of theirs required this amount of thought, design, time, work, then you can appreciate just how specialized they are with all of their creations. Having finished the carving, Aidan and Russell are now going over with soft, water-based plaster fillers. This is to lose that polystyrene texture on the surface and to make it sandable down to a much smoother finish before moulding. This process is repeated until we're happy with the quality, as now's the time to make any changes and get the piece to where we want it. Here you can see the dropped section on the top, whereby we've made sure we've created a chamfer around the edge so not only can this be easily extracted from the mould, but any insert going on top is easily added and lifted out as well. The surface is being treated with a PVA blue release agent, and here you can see we're using plasticine to create dividing walls. This is so the mould is made in several pieces, as with the nature of the shape, if a mould were only created in one piece, we wouldn't even be able to get the master pattern out, let alone a cast. So this needs to be able to come apart, bolt back together along the joining walls when a cast is being laid up inside. We've gone on first with a gel coat of resin for a smooth surface, and backed this up with multiple layers of glass fibre. We don't need to use a silicon rubber to create this mould, as the level of detail isn't too high, and having this mould split into three pieces should prove for an easy enough extraction anyway. 
despite the release agents, you can see that the master pattern's clinging on for dear life here. Russell's removing the majority of the polystyrene, and then I'm going on with the jet wash to remove the remaining plaster. It's important that the interior of the mould is cleaned up as much as possible before casting, to save on the same repeated work on all of the extracted casts later. If we can iron out any imperfections at this stage, our future selves will thank us for it. We're now preparing the mould for the very first cast, going in with a beeswax and buffing this up to work as a release agent. We then go in with a gel coat of resin, once again for a smooth surface finish, backed up with multiple layers of glass fibre. The advantage of the master pattern shape, and the fact the mould can break apart into pieces, means that we can get inside and laminate each cast as one complete unit. This saves any extra cleaning up by having to join pieces together later on, and the only seam lines we need to clean up are a couple of minor lines from the inside of the mould. Of course, that's not the only thing required once the cast is out. We go over the complete surface, checking for any imperfections, cleaning up all of the lines and all of the corners, and making sure the finish is as good as we can get it. Our part of the work is going to be finished in a 2K car body primer, and the client is eventually going to put their own textured surface on this later. Even with how good the inside of the mould was, it's still a lot of work, but you always need to take appropriate breaks, which the crew are often reluctant to do. Tea time! We'd like to thank Decorus once again for approaching us with a fantastic first project, and here you can see the finished piece, now with their texture, proudly exhibited on their website. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and now follow Aiden Hines Sculpture Studios on Instagram, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.